Hi, my name is Julie Fogliano, and this is Christian Robinson. We both make books for kids, and together we made Just In Case You Want To Fly. It's a story about the people we love and all the ways we try to prepare them for the great big world. The pictures in this book are also telling a story. They invite you, the reader, to use your imagination and make your own discoveries. Tell us about your character. This book isn't about one specific character. It can be about a parent and a child, grandparent and child, cousins, two good friends, or really anyone. Really, this book is about you and whoever you carry around in your heart. It starts, just in case you want to fly. Here's some wind and here's the sky. Here's a feather, here's a pie, and here's a wing from a butterfly. One of my favorite things is how the story makes you feel all warm and cozy. It's the kind of book that makes you want to grab a blanket and some hot cocoa and read. The pictures are also silly, and I like that there is a joke on one page that you might get if you know something about buffaloes. How did you come up with this character? One day when I was packing for a trip, my daughter, who was about three at the time, was throwing things into my suitcase, saying things like, just in case you want to sing, and then she'd throw in a microphone, or just in case it starts to snow, and then she'd throw in a boot. It was so sweet and funny, I started to make a list of lots of just-in-cases. And then I realized, this wasn't just a funny list of things someone might need, but about all the ways we try to prepare the people we love for new adventures. When someone you love is going out into the world, you want them to have everything they need, no matter how big or small. And you especially want them to know that you are always there for them, no matter how far they go. What made you want to become a creator of books? The pictures in this book were made using all sorts of materials, like paint, cut out pieces of paper, stamps, and even a rock. As a child, I love drawing and making up stories. One of my favorite things to draw are animals, which is probably why I made sure the pages in this book are filled with all kinds of different animals. When illustrating a book, I have to make a lot of decisions. I have to think about what the characters will look like, where the story takes place, what colors to use. To make illustrating a whole lot easier, I like to start small. I start by working on these little tiny drawings, sketches, doodles, called storyboards. Also, I make a lot of mistakes. It's true, even me, an illustrator, I make so many drawings that I don't like. And that's okay because I've learned that sometimes it takes practice and many tries before you get something right or you make a drawing that you're happy with. If you found a whale in your bathtub, what would you do? Even though I once wrote a book called If You Want to See a Whale, I have never actually seen a whale in real life. So first, I'd probably scream. And then I'd probably give it a hug. Then I'd call my kids into the bathroom, and they would probably scream and give it a hug. And then we'd have to call someone who could carefully take it back to the ocean, because we only have one bathroom, and things will get stinky pretty quick without the use of our bathtub. I would, of course, kindly greet the whale because I'm a gentleman. I would say, good afternoon whale, or good morning whale, depending on the time of day. Um, I would then tell the whale a joke. How did the octopus make the whale laugh? With tentacles, <laughs> tentacles, tentacles. <laughs>